I don't want your love, I don't want your respect, I don't want your pity, I just want my goddamn chaos back! Please, Timothy, sit down. Join me. Have you heard of the plant Nerium Oleander, Timothy? What, Charles? Don't try to change the subject on me. I'm only here for one thing. Of course, but let me explain. Charles? Nerium Oleander is a poisonous plant. If you ingest any part of it, you will die. Wow, real cool fun fact, Charles. However, the good people at Nerium International LLC have turned this poisonous plant into a wrinkle care anti-aging face cream. Okay, and your point? Isn't that kind of odd? There are people using something that could bring them so close to death in order to make themselves feel further away from it. You can't distract me, Charles. Those are my Cheerios. <sighs> are they really, Timothy? Are they? Yes, Charles. They literally have my name on them. I don't know what you're talking about. You must have surmised incorrectly. Dan? Dan? Come hither! Howdy, Charles. What's the deal, yo? Oh, nothing, Dan. I just wanted to give you your reimbursement. Who the hell are you? I'm Dan. Howdy. This is Dan. He cooks my Cheerios for me. He's a specialty chef. Yes, sir. Now run along, Dan. There's more cooking to be done. Alrighty, then. Thank you. You're cooking my Cheerios? You make me sick. Sometimes I like to boil them in milk. Give them back to me, Charles. You don't deserve to be treated like this. Timothy, I can understand why you're upset. But there are things more important in this life than, say, Cheerios. Like what, Charles? Like what? Respect. Love. All these things you said you didn't care for when you so rudely interrupted my supper. All you care about is materialistic things. You are the one who makes me sick, Timothy. But they're mine! You child. And stop dabbing the corner of your mouth. No one's mouth is that dirty. Fine, Timothy. If you care so much about your materialistic possessions, I concede. Dan, another bowl, please. I'll be right out, Charles. Get some of that goody goody. His desire is really what killed him in the end. Pity. I guess you could say you was a serial killer now. Shut up, Dan.